So if you want to learn how to make a intro for your Roblox game that works, then stick around and watch the whole video. Alright guys, so let's start off by inserting a part into the workspace. This part will be where the camera position will be set, alright? So where the camera will view from, and yeah, so if you want to see what like side the camera will be pointing towards, you want to go to the camera in the workspace and go down to surface and change front surface. Just click it and it'll show you. So this part will be where our camera is facing, so it'll be facing that way. Now what we want to do is we want to go and name this part camera POS, all right, camera pause, all right. Now that we've got the camera, make sure it's anchored so it won't fall. And if you want, you can go ahead and set the transparency to one so other players can't see it when they're actually playing your game. Now what we want to do is go to the starter GUI and what we want to do is insert a local script. What this script will do is set the camera position and we're going to add a cool blur. You don't have to add the blur if you don't want to. So yeah, let's get into this part. So we're going to do local player, local player equals game, game dot players dot local player. Now we're going to get the care, the character. Sorry about that. To get the character, we're going to do local character equals player dot character. All right. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local camera equals equals workspace dot current camera. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to repeat this just in case it doesn't work. So we're gonna do repeat wait. All right, and then we're gonna press enter and it'll add it until. So what we're gonna repeat is we're gonna do camera dot camera type equals email dot camera type dot scriptable. So we want to repeat this until this equals, so we want to repeat camera.camera camera type equals camera type dot scriptable until camera.camera camera type equal equals, yeah, so we just want to repeat it until it actually equals uh, scriptable. And then once we do that, let's go ahead and create our, uh, we're going to set the camera position to the position of the part that we put into the workspace. So we're going to do camera.cframe equals workspace dot camera pause dot c frame there we go now let's go ahead and add our blur to do that we're going to do local blur equals instance dot new blur effect like this and then we can go ahead and put comma camera just like that now uh that might be it yeah that should be it so let's go ahead and click play just to test it out All right, there you go. As you can see, it works. And now we can go ahead and close that. We can name the script whatever we want. I'm just gonna be call it main camera, okay. And now we can go ahead and add a screen GUI to the start of GUI. And we can go ahead and add a text button. You can do whatever you want, but now we're just gonna make the play button. So let's go ahead and set the size that we want of our button. So I'm gonna do 400 by 100 should be a decent sized button and now to center this perfectly for all devices so everyone can play the game and the GUI is look good on everyone's screen this is what you want to do so you want to size your button I'll put what to do on the screen so the position will be 0.5 comma negative the X like half of the X so as you can see the X value is 400 so we're gonna do negative 200 so like that and then you do the same thing for Y so we'll do 0.5 comma and then we'll do negative 50 because it's 100 so negative 50 and that will center the button perfectly now you can go ahead and decorate the button however you want so I'll be back when I'm done with that alright guys I'm done decorating my button let's go ahead and click play and test it out All right, there you go, as you can see it works. And now all we have to do is make the script that actually makes the button work. So what we're going to do is add a local script into the button. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to do script.parent.mouseButton one click. We're gonna connect a function to it just like that. And when we click the button, pretty much what this is doing is whenever we click the button, this script will run inside of here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to do script.parent.parent.parent .parent dot enabled actually equals false so what this will do is it will disable the screen GUI so as you can see we can enable it and disable it 
so that will disable it and then we're going to do workspace dot current camera dot camera type oops sorry about that dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot and we want to put this back to custom and then we're going to do workspace dot camera hold up current camera current camera dot blur capital b dot enabled equals false so pretty much what's happening is when we click the button it is going to disable the play button the screen gui it will set the camera back to custom which will put it back onto our character and it will set the current camera blur the blur that we added it'll disable that so now let's go ahead and click play and test this out all right so let's click play and there you go as you can see it works perfectly fine so thanks for watching guys leave suggestions of what i should uh do a tutorial on next and yeah peace out